The next type of thread that I have is called a helicoil insert. Um, so basically what I did here is, um, it's this one right here. So I'm gonna just isolate this one. Um, so basically what I did here is, is helicoils are these basic, basically these threaded inserts that you tap your, um, you, you tap your part and then you thread these helicoils in and the helicoils um, have similar threads to, to standard threads, but, but not quite. And then you screw your, um, you screw your bolt into that helicoil. Um, so Marco, can we go back to the part cam and I can show you this process a little more in depth. Um, and let's zoom in on this one right here. Let's see, where did my helicoils go? There we go. Um, so this is a helicoil right here. It's pretty small. Oops. It's pretty zoom small. In just a little bit more. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see, but basically it's this spiral of, ah, sorry, this is hard to line up. It's this spiral, it's this coil of metal. And what this effectively does is it takes our bolt right here and it makes the threads larger on the bolt. So it's like we're using a increased bolt size. Um, what that does is it enhances, it, it increases the surface area that we have um, with the threads contacting the, um, contacting the part. So we expect this to be a little bit stronger because there's more surface area in the part in general. Um, to install these, um, what, what you do is you basically, um, you, you start with a larger hole with a larger thread size and the, the helicoil uh, like vendors will usually specify uh, how, to, how to create this hole. Um, and then you take this tool here, um, this one right here, um, this is a helico helicoil insertion tool. And this, um, this part of the tool is, is tapped. Um, it has threads in it. So what we do is we insert it into here and then just screw the helicoil down into the part until, we, um, until it starts to contact the surface of the part like that. And then we just unscrew it. There we go. Um, and now that helicoil is embedded into that part. Oops, it's like it dropped out. Um, there's a little bit of excess on the other side of the part and we can just take some, um, some wire clippers and just, just cut that part off. Um, and so as I said, this is effectively enlarging our threads and uh, that'll make them a little bit stronger than, than just the tapped or printed threads. So I'm gonna start back down at a two for this, starting to drill into the hole. Um, it's, there's some resistance here. This is at two, but it's mostly skipping. So I'm gonna bump it up to four. And already that has uh, stripped out the hole with the helicoils in it. Um, so, um, so that's that test. Now we're gonna go to the, um, the pull test over here. So Marco, can we, can we slide over to this one? Oops. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this test over here. Where we're gonna test the, the pull strength of these. And again, we expect it to do a little better because there's a bit more surface area. So you can see that part is starting to bend. Let's see if I can move, um, maybe use a piece of paper. Put in, oh, put in there. Um, so you can see that part starting to bend right there and deform a whole lot. And there we go. We just pulled the 
uh, the bolts right out of those helicoils. And you can see there's a little bit, can we, is it possible to zoom in a bit more? This is actually really neat. Um, you can see there's a little bit of the helicoil actually got pulled out of the part and is now sticking out. So there's this little springy bit. Um, so that part was the, the first to deform because that, just like with the printed threads and with the tap threads, it just pulled itself through the plastic to fail. Um, again, that was pretty low strength. Um, one of the advantages of helicoils, let's switch back to the forward camera. One of the advantages of, um, there we go. One of the advantages of helicoils is that they, um, they're very precise. So if you design in your, um, your threads for your helicoils, you can install them and they're gonna be just, uh, they're gonna be installed very precisely. Whereas with a tap thread or something like that, you may not uh, get as precise tap threads themselves will be more precise, but if you're tapping the hole and you end up messing it up, then, uh, then it's gonna ruin your thread. But um, yeah, so, so helicoils, um, the, the pull strength, again, I wonder, I wonder if there's a way we can prop this whiteboard up because the bottom is not visible. Um, so with helicoils, we have pull strength, or sorry, profile. Um, profile was a little, big, a little bigger than these printed or tap threads, but not by much. So I'm gonna give that maybe like a 2.5 or a three. Um, the, the pull strength was still pretty low at one. Um, torque strength was sort of in between printed and tapped. So I'm, I'm gonna give that maybe one, 1 1.5-ish. Um, installation took a little bit of work, not much. It's a pretty easy job to insert these helicoils but we had to use some tools, so I'm gonna give that a, um, a two. And then um, the, the wear, again, very similar to printed or tapped threads. Um, it'll wear out pretty quick with repeated use. So with these three types of threads, you kinda only wanna use them once. Um, if you're securing something together, you, you don't wanna have to remove and, and put back those threads a lot or else they'll wear out really quickly. So we have a great question here. Uh, what's the difference between using a helicoil and just using a larger screw? Um, that's a really great question. Um, so as I said, a helicoil is just gonna be slightly larger bolt. Um, there could be a couple reasons for this. Uh, one is say you have two pieces that are mating together and, um, and the thread strips out on the, the part with the threads in it and you can't get that same thread size back in because the threads are all broken. You could drill that hole out and, um, and tap it with a helicoil so that the size of the bolt remains constant so that you don't have to change any other parts down the line. So it's sort of, helicoils are kind of a maintenance tactic. Um, with 3D printed parts, um, you may wanna use a helicoil because if your bolt is smaller, it, the whole thing is a bit lower profile. You may not be able to bump up to a thicker bolt um, because of the size of the features or the components that you need. Um, but in, in some cases, and this is especially more with traditional manufacturing processes, um, if you're working with metal parts or something like that, you'd use a helicoil if you need to conserve the bolt size because the thread stripped out on, uh, on your part. Um, all right, any other? Um, Someone says, wouldn't increasing the wall thickness in the region of the hole provide much more strength? Um, so that's a, that's a really great point. Um, you can bump up the number of walls around, around your hole to increase that thickness. But again, it's sort of, we're still dealing with anisotropic plastic here. And when you get to the, to the, like, to the layer by layer um, features of the thread, um, you'll, get to, you'll start to see the threads will sort of peel each other apart and sort of split those layers a bit, a little bit like split ends on a hair. Um, and that's, that's kind of how they fail. Um, but you can increase that wall thickness to make sure that the, uh, that your threads are a little more secure. 